This video's in conjunction with Palatrack Sackle, Catch More Fish, and Ashima, the future of fishing. Well, here we are. Familiar surroundings. Did you just do your hair? I did do my hair, but I was going to cut that bit out because I was going to edit that bit. <laughs> I'll have to leave it in now. <laughs> uh, new haircut, new shorts, service reels, rods, back from England, ready to go. Myself and Oswaldo are at Palm Tree Lagoon, uh, or, or shall I say, Zoe. Uh, they, they put uh, my, my name and Oz's name on the board here, though that we're fishing, and uh, they, they mixed up. O and Z with Z and O, so now his new name's Zozo, uh, and he's getting used to it already. Uh, is he? <laughs> Sound like a Middle Eastern, Eastern yeah. European uh, athlete, Zozo, and Zozo Blajovic. Athlete? Yeah, well, I've got the, <laughs> the, the prowess, the physique. <laughs> And I've got sports uh, shirt on. I don't know if they do silver wrestling in the, the Olympics, do they? They will do soon. <laughs> we might watch a bit of Olymp Olympics later. We, uh, we'll uh, get the computer on and uh, see what the crack is. But it's the, um, what are we, 8th of August? It is. 8th of August and we're fishing for three days. Uh, no Dan Zack, new father. Congratulations, Dan Zack and Fern Zack with new Han Zack. Uh, Hannah Zack. Uh, 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 I had it in my mind to say Danzac and Fernzac equals Hanzac. You've done it. Uh, 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 Zozo's on the pole. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> the uh, more than Chelsea are going to get this season. Uh, but, um, and uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> um, we're back at Palm Tree. Say, so I've just come back from England. All G'd up. New pop ups, new, new attitude. Hopefully that doesn't drain that's out of me within the first hour. Hey. About time. about time, yeah, yeah. No, it was a uh, lovely to be back, but it's also lovely to be back here. Red hot here. Oz has just been sorting his rods out, sorting his rigs out, and it is roasting. Um, I put the fan on him because of you know his condition and that. And uh, the, 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 he's what? aged. Uh, <laughs> <and> feeble. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I thought it was on swivel. Uh, yeah, one of Mars bar swivel. Uh, bit of partridge. Um, but uh, actually, uh, Tim's back in the UK, um, and Aww. he's doing a bit of fishing, and Oz uh, is a bit gutted. And um, Benny has just left, Benny and Benji have just left. They're gonna go and see him for a couple of weeks now, mine's just told us, to, so we said um, hello and goodbye to them. So we're gonna be quite lonely up here without the, the crew. Um, lots of blows coming up in the middle of the lake as, as we arrived. Um, Texas chicken in our bellies, and... Um, Spicy. Spicy Mexican Texas chili, wasn't it? Mexican. Yeah, Oz is still. Burger um, Mexicano. Yeah. Burger Mexicano. Still you know. Ooh, Zozo's good with the, the lingo. Um. <laughs> uh, but yeah, three days. Uh, we might have it to ourselves. We're not sure. There could be another angler. But um, I'm going to be on the long bank tomorrow. Oswaldo was in the bungalow. He kindly gave me first choice uh, because I need it. And. Um, and we'll see how it goes. We're hoping uh, this time of year, say uh, August, September, October, is Julian's sort of months with the rain falling. Uh, and and uh, last time we was up here, we had black shark minnow and, and, and a few other nice species and a decent Siamese carp coming out as well. Um, a fella called uh, Mickey Quail was just left for a long, he always does uh, quite a long stint. I uh, didn't get to meet him, he left be, uh, before he um, arrived. Maybe he knew we were coming. He yeah. flew the nest before we got here. Flew the nest, the, the quail, quail joke, bird joke, here he is. Zozo. Never uh, use it. <laughs> I don't know if he ever had it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, he, he done very well before us, so um, fingers crossed. We'll see if we can get a few fish. Well, I'm chewing on a bit of bacon. And it's bright and early in the morning. Um, got a couple of rods out. I'm on a long bank. And Oz. He's over in the bungalow swim. He just had a screaming run. Huge bow wave. Fish came towards me. Bubbles turned. And he's back on, on his right hand side now. The speed is gone. And now it's gone. Could be a big, could be a big Julian's up. He, he's covered some water. Siamese don't usually sort of cover that amount of water that fast. Um, Hey, the new the new pop-ups and waters I brought back from from England for him. It's, it's on the trade first cast, so that's uh, 
I was going to give him some confidence in him straight away. Um, overcast day. Eh? Uh, Man said us a lovely breakfast. Um, and uh, we're not sure there possibly could be somebody else turning up today to go on the platform. It was sounded a bit 50 50 yesterday. Um, but if they do, then uh, that's the way it is. If, if they don't, then uh, obviously all, 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 the, all the more better. Um, the kingfisher going across there. Um, obviously, less rods in the water on, on any water makes a hell of a difference. Come on, the big Julie fishes near the surface there, coming quite quick. Hello, guy's getting his shirt off. Interesting what this bit like goggle box is, isn't it? Somebody watching somebody playing a fish. Uh, Oz hasn't got a camera over there today, so we won't get a lot of his footage. But, uh, come on, he's giving it some elbow. Hey, Siamese, Coy went fast, did he? Yeah, yeah he's uh. Okay, so it's a, a Siamese carp. The, the way it sort of came across here, then scooted over there. Maybe a Julian. It's a, a carp, first chuck. Which, the trip before I went back to England, I had a, a carp over there, first chuck. And um, the omens were good. We had a pretty good trip. So, um, ah, lovely stuff. Was it? Oh, it's first chuck. He said he landed the warrior, did he? Look at that. <laughs> Ah, amazing. Get in, Oz. What a way to start. Got a t shirt. <laughs> he needs a new t shirt. <laughs> oh, uh, <well. laughs> oh <brilliant. coughs> it's fucking huge, he said. And, those, uh, and it is. Those little pop ups you brought back. Was it? Well, those nice smelling ones. The fluoro ones, they're sort of they're not vibrant yellow, they're sort of like a dusty yellow. Okay. They yeah. smell lovely. First check out. Oh, brilliant. Five minutes. That'll give you confidence in it. He's going to have my, another my go. My phone's over there. Somebody yeah. need to take a picture with that. I'd be very grateful. Lovely. I'll just have one more bit of video and then I'll get, a, I'll get the phone. Lovely. Well, finally got a chance to sit down and actually have my food. It's It's been pretty uh, pretty mental, actually. Also, the warrior there, pretty much first cast. And uh, well, yeah, it was first cast, and uh, first cast of the second rod, I believe. <coughs> and then I managed to get three rods out, and then the rod right in the corner on a couple of bits of corn uh, went, and um, fish kited, well, sort of set off out towards the middle of the lake, and then kited towards this bank, had it on for a little bit, and then just just came off. So that was a bit annoying, but um, we both had chances within the first hour, which is always a good vibe. Sun's just trying to poke through. Wouldn't mind if it did did for a little while um, during the day. It always helps with the oxygen levels. And uh, yeah, all four rods out, dotted, right in the corner. One just off the highest is just past the there, right out there where I've done all right. Before I went back to England with a, the Julians and the black shark minnow and a couple of other bits and pieces. One in the uh, the usual spot, the casting towards the the reflection of the pylon. And then one under the other aerator, which has produced a lot of good fish in the past. <coughs> uh, one on corn, and the other three are on the, the wafters I brought back from the UK. I think they're um, Nash Citrus. Um, I don't think uh, I don't know if it makes a lot of difference, but if you've got confidence in saying, keep going with it. Well, the uh, one where I lost the fish in the corner is going again. It's a bit tricky filming and. Playing. That's uh, I do my best. Good fish, good weight on it. <laughs> Don't want to get his feet hurt, this guy, does he?
Okay. Well, that's a chunky one. And the fish. Hey. Oh. Look at the width of that one. It's going to be eight inches across the back. I'm quite much closer there. Lovely. It's almost 40 grand. Absolutely super. <laughs> Oswaldo with the warrior. I lost one and got that one. I'll do. To give her a bit of oxygen. in open water. I've only got one rod right in open water on a couple of waters. It was gone. It was a big swirl when it kicked off. It be a big Siamese, but uh, there's been no movements on the rod since I hooked it, so pretty sure it's a meat on. Probably my friend, the friendly that I've had countless times now. But uh, hopefully we, we can get her out pretty quick and save me energy and not kick the lake up too much. That's uh, We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Well, we've had the fish on about maybe 10 minutes, maybe not even that, and it's not very far out, so I don't think it's a friendly. Uh, give it a sort of stick though, the Siamese don't turn up. Well, I hope it does. It certainly shouldn't have been playing that like this if it is a Siamese. You're right in close now. It's over there. Sorry, I don't have to go past you. Right down in that corner now.
Money, money. Fighting me come. Not the longest of bites, but fucking he's stuck at the bloody man. <laughs> he's still got a bit of beans left. One, two, deep. One, two, deep. Nice one. Have a look at the, uh, the width of it. Amazing sort of the fish in in Bugsamran and, and palm tree. The the depth. The depth and width of them. Very different. If I can get one on the end. Cut the out over. Oh just knock my chin. <laughs> I'll be honest, it's too lively. It's too lively. <laughs> it's, too, it's too strong for me. But they're fantastic looking fish, aren't they? Boy, man. No go. <laughs> like and subscribe. Please. Right, it's 11 o'clock. The sun's come out. Red hot. Oz is into a fish. Oh, he was into a fish. Come off, Oz! Oh. Oh. Oh, I was turning the camera on to hopefully report what Oz was just landing. But uh, he had a fish come off. He had a little, little rohu come off. Hey? Didn't it? Bugger! He didn't feel like a carp or a swine. Um, yeah, a little rohu come off. I had a fish come off first thing, and uh, he's just lost another one, so a bit annoying. Um, but he has had the warrior and, uh, and an albino paku, which he's never had. And uh, I've had that Julian's and, and the Mekong, so it's not bad for three hours fishing on the first morning. Oh, yeah, things are looking good. Just had me kombucha playing havoc. Well, it's about midday now, and. Um, I've just stopped shaking. I had a run off the the rod on the, the first aerator and um, sort of picked it up and it gave that double tap like a, a Julian's or usually a Julian's session this time of year would, would give and just sort of came towards me, kited a bit towards the left. So I jumped in the water too in case it went around the aerator. And um, the fish sort of turned, went out into the middle of the lake and the, the reel actually couldn't keep up with the speed of it. It was going that fast. I managed to get myself out of the water, sort myself out of it, keep up with it, keep in touch with it best I could. And then it twisted and turned a couple of times and and came off and left me in a, in a shaking wreck. Um, and um, I don't know what I was doing. A bit gutted. I mean, it could have just been an average sized Julian's that, that was angry and, and going mental, but yeah, it was unbelievable um, the speed and and the power of it. But um, <coughs> you just never know here what, what, what it could have been. Um, gutted that it came off, and to add insult to injury, come back and loaded a feeder up, put some more coin back on the hair, loaded the feeder up, didn't actually load up as, as hard as I should have against the feeder done the underarm flicked, the bait's come off and I went up in a tree so I had to get the blow to cut down a, a bit of the tree to get me feet are back like an absolute <laughs> muppet but um, uh, we, we did get it back and the branch is out the way now that might cause a, a problem in the future so uh, that's quite nice uh, and then Oz just had a had a run uh, he was running to his rod that's um, the rod that's positioned uh, under the under the wall over there the, the little poacher's rod in the corner but um, 
and he got to it. I don't even know if he connected with it, but it wasn't there. So that's, well, I've lost a couple. Now he's lost a, a rohu that he's seen and a, and a couple of fish. So, yeah, a bit, a bit annoying, even though we've had some cracking fish. It's annoying to lose a few fish because you, you just don't know what you're losing here. <laughs> uh, but things are happening. Still got it to ourselves, and um, the sun's shining, and uh, we got the best to come. Well, you know, usually. So, um, yeah, all good. Well, this bit's for the absent Dan Zach. Um, Hamang, chicken, a nice bit of rice, and some lettuce. Very healthy and very tasty. That's um, Dan's daily food report. Well, I had one eye on me for the whole of my, my lunch. Two eyes, probably. But one of them was very obvious. Wandered around with the food. Head on the, on the fan, hoping to have some. Unfortunately, that wasn't enough to share. That's, uh, I'll just let a sleeping dogs lie. Oh, Oswaldo's over there on the far bank. His little uh, poacher rod in the corner went off and thought, oh, well, black shark minnow or something nice. Oh, oh, it's a bit stronger, it might be a red tail. It's turned into a Mekong. Oh, a bit warm for that at uh, two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> but he's really enjoying that. Not. Well, after Oz's cattler earlier, and that's why he had a little while ago, he's into another fish. Uh, I've been messing about, as I do. Got the old John Nicholson seed mix. And I've been uh, spawning out. I've been spawning out in the uh, open water swim. And fish are blowing on it. I seem to be getting any bites, but um, they're definitely blowing on it. So I've just spawned a couple into the, the little swim next to the first aerator. Ozzy's fish is... This one don't look like a swipe, this one. He's, Dapping about a bit, a bit of luck. Oh, hello, Julie. Yes. Get in. Thought he looked a bit too goldy for a swai. Yes. Get in. Well, the weather's changed. We just had a change of conditions. It's almost threatening. We had that wind that blows all the leaves off the, all the dead leaves off the trees that indicates maybe a shower's coming. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, that little change of condition, it's, it's the right time of day as well. Um, hopefully, brought on Oz's bite there for that Julian's. Um, I could keep plugging away, but um, yeah, since this morning, I've not really had another bite since that lost fish. But um, yeah, see how it goes. Well, got a bite off the first aerator. Chances are. A swai, <laughs> but you never know. It was a bit lungy, but like a swai. I think it is. Wait all day for a bite. You get a swai. You never know. Super. Oh, he's a lump. <sighs> Pull your arms. 40 pounds fly. Well, I was halfway down to the, the furthest rod down the other end to rebait it. And this one's gone. Very steady run. And my fears were realised. It's a Mekong. Just off the air air. Friendly Friday. This footage might be a bit dark. I've got to put the light on the uh, on the camera, but the, the rod down the end was just gone. Fast fish, if it's a swine, then 
circulation. In the dark, bloody hell is it? Go. Coming in close man. Think he's got it. See more beans in the tank. Wow, that's a nice fish. Uh, Bev, no. Well, quite unusual to get a Julian's in the dark. And uh, let's have a look at the photos. So, well, it's not the same ones this morning. This is a bit of a scale. Given up, but that a chain and uh, winding down. Just get a photo uh, the other side. Lovely stuff. And holds on the other side, so I thought I'd photograph both sides so we could have a have a look and see see what's what if we are getting repeat captures or anything like that or work out what size they are. I think the pound smaller than the, this morning. 38 and 39. After a tricky day, Palm Tree's done it again. Just let her go. She's lively. Well, myself and Zozo are, are back at the <laughs> are back at the ranch, and we've just been discussing the day's fishing. If we got that, and we've got our pork chops, a bit of a uh, bit of pumpkin. I'm just saying to Oz, pumpkin in Thai is a fuck tong, so it's a, a very good opportunity to use the word fuck legally. A uh, bit of a bit of guy flour, a bit of broccoli, nice pork chops, lovely chips. I do love their chips here. They're salted a bit bigger. They're very very mm. good, aren't they? And we had a. A very strange day's fishing. Both of us, we, we both ended with fish that a lot of people would die for or or be very, very grateful to catch. And um, and yet we feel a little bit underwhelmed because of some of the stuff that happened. A lot of lost fish and a lot of strange things happening. Um, I was at a crack in Julian's as well as the, well, the Warrior was the, the first thing that came out, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, the Warrior. And then he had the... Um, the cat that was next. 
Paco was next. Se several hours later. Uh, first ever Albino Paco, I believe. I thought it was, but I checked my records I got one last time. <laughs> what I a prank. I remember it because it was four pounds. <laughs> Zozo's memory going with it. It certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> Zozo <laughs> simple. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> Uh, lovely Catler, and then uh, a, a Julian's, and you had a several swine. Yeah, yeah, three or four swine. A few missed runs, a few lost yeah. fish, a couple of big liners. It was, uh, let's say, you can't complain about the quality of the fish. No, no, no uh, I think we had I think enough. I'm fairly certain it's a PB Catler, we don't wait. Yeah. But um, I'm fairly certain, so it's another day that you've been here and caught a PB. Yes. And you've caught huge huge carp which yeah. got on the first cast um, and so you, you know you, you've got to say it's a very successful day but there were very long periods when nothing happened mm. and uh, that can get um, if, you, if you let your mentality wander a little bit you can get a little bit down because you don't have a bite yeah. for three hours or something yeah and then you get three bites in half an hour and it's uh, your, your attitude is refreshed and you're ready to go. Yeah. But that's part of it. Yeah, your Julian wound me up. When you had your, your Julians, I then reloaded my rods. Mm. And, and like, like what I just said, it's um, sometimes you can sort of just let your concentration waver or even like look at the phone a little bit too much, or uh, like I do. Mm. And then you're not casting often enough and, and um, your catch rate will slow down as well as um, not not getting as many bites as you, you would have wanted, you, you actually don't do it as well as you should as well. So yeah. uh, you've got to be careful of that. Well, well I started with a, a Julian, so I lost a fish, and started with a Julian. A cracker. Yeah, food cracker. Yeah. Would have been in my top, top ten, I reckon. Maybe even top five. And then a Mekong that was uh, very, very lively. Luckily came in fairly quickly. Oh, thank you. Coming on my computer and my speaker, and we'll watch a bit of Olympics. Mm. More like the Power Olympics here today. Oh. <laughs> Some cycling on here, was watching it, said it's carnage on the. Uh, oh, is it? The Kieran and uh, what's the other one called? The Madison. Yeah, they all. There's like 60 bikes on the track at the same time, and they're falling over, and they. Oh, they on the track? Yeah, uh, on, the, on the velodrome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Greg could see that later on. See if we can get that on. Yeah, what yeah, of, uh, yeah. Um, into the velodrome. Oh, was that uh, Mad Max? Thunder. Oh, Thunderdome, that's right. Um, <laughs> uh, and then, uh, yeah, I had a long gap and, and, and lost fish. Lost a very, very fast fish that could well have been another Julian's. The one this morning could have been a Julian's. And then in the dark, which is very unusual, very often the last hour of a palm tree is always worth fishing because you've still got the chance, but very rarely does it produce much apart from swine. And then, well, about 10 minutes ago, my rod down the end went, and it was a, a, a cracking fight. I thought it was going to be a hard fight in swine. It turned out to be a cracking Julian. And then the rod this end went, and, and the line went back under the aerator along the bank, which was quite unusual. Usually if you get a bite from a spy you'll go out into open water. So but when I got there, uh whether he was still there when I got there, the line was sort of in and around sort of little bits and pieces that must have been along the bottom, al along the, the margin there and um never really connected with it. But it was a, another chance that could have equated to a an even better day than we had. But it, it was a it was a super day. And, and we've got two more left. So uh yeah. it's fantastic. We are I think we're on course. We had three Julians. We, we set a um, target of 10 over three days. Set, and we're, yeah. we're just about on there. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. And yeah. you've definitely lost at least one Julians. Yes. And yeah. uh, I hooked a swy, which I thought was a Julians. Does that count? <laughs> a sw a Swylians. Because <laughs> it just went off at a rate of knots, and I was convinced it's definitely not a swy. I thought it was a Rohu <laughs> or a Julians. Definitely not a swy. And after a six or seven minute fight, it came up and I couldn't believe it was a swine. I, I was in total shock. I said to the guy, if it's a, if it's a swine, I'd go swimming. And I changed my mind quickly. <laughs> I was desperately looking to see if it was a, a, a black ear or a monocot or something like that. Yeah, like a catfish shark yeah, for sure, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I think it was definitely a swine. I mean, in, in English, the they're, called a, they're called a striped catfish, so you could have you know, classed it as a Julian's, really. Yeah. Striped, striped, yeah. Not yeah. catfish, no. Right. No. Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> but we're going to enjoy a pork chop now. And uh, I'll come back on ones, yeah. Cheers. Nice one as well. Cracking day, man. Cracking day. Uh, yeah, we're gonna enjoy our food. Uh, if this is the end of the video or half of the next one, just in case. Tartland vibes. Oh,